after UN call, government in truce negotiation with separatist fighters. Jailed leaders of the Ambazonia separatist movement, including Sisiku Ayuktabi have held talks with government officials in Cameroon amid ceasefire calls in the bloody conflict in the country's English-speaking regions. Sisiku Ayuktabi who is currently serving a life sentence has taken on Twitter to announce that he and his cabinet met with authorities of the Yaoundé regime on Thursday to initiate a ceasefire following the UN's call. The details are being discussed and we will update Ambazonians once significant progress is made," Sisiku added. We asked you know who the separatists' leaders had a ceasefire pre-talks with and we were simply told, we have been advised not to let this out. But the quest for an independent Ambazonian state in Anglophone Cameroon remains the main goal, says Sisiku Ayuktabi. Be reassured that we remain committed to the restoration of the independence of homeland, he said. On Thursday, news that the separatist leaders with Manco Bibizi, Pantarans among others were take out of jail to a known destination hit social media. The meeting is coming over two months after the United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres launched a ceasefire call in conflict hit countries as the deadly coronavirus pandemic spreads across the globe. In a global campaign for peace and justice in Cameroon last week, over 15 Nobel Peace Prize laureates and ex-presidents advised the government of Cameroon and separatists to end all forms of violence in the two troubled regions, so that health and humanitarian workers could concentrate on saving lives and stamping out COVID-19 out of the continent as a whole. With nearly 13.000 coronavirus cases in Cameroon and 313 deaths, the global call for peace and justice signatories urged all the parties in the armed conflict to mute their weapons and allow Anglophone citizens to get access to the much-needed health care.